is when I'm doing something like this, guys, the main important thing I'd like to take is kind of our standard form for our conic section. So we'd have y minus k squared equals 8 times x minus, oh, sorry, equals 4p times x minus h. Right? That, that's the equation I gave you guys. Right? Well, that was the equation I gave you. There's only two equations. Either one, it was y minus k squared, or in this one, it was x minus h squared. But since this one was already y minus 1 squared, I knew that it had to be the y minus k squared equation, right? OK. So now the next thing is I need to determine, well, what is my vertex? Do that one first. The vertex, if you guys remember, is h comma k. OK? So we go to k, which remember, it's opposite. It's y opposite of k. So my vertex is actually going to be um, negative 5, positive 1. The formula, right? It's the MRO is the opposite going through. So now the next thing, Kevin, is I'll go and plot the vertex. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1. So that is my vertex. All right? Now the next thing I need to do is I need to determine where's the focus. But to remember, to determine the focus, we have the definition. And the definition of a focus, Kevin, is? Or the definition of P? P? Go to no P. Right. So let's figure out P, right? So we say 4P equals 8. So 4P equals 8. Divide by 4, divide by 4. P equals 2. Ryan, is that positive or is that negative? No, the value of P. Positive. It's positive. So am I gonna move my am I gonna move my focus to the right, to the left, up or down? To the left. To the left. Why would you want to move it to the left? So Ryan, when thinking about this, when you want to plot the point, yeah, your positive is to the right, right? Yeah, it's OK. So that is going to be my focus. Now remember, why is it not going up? Because remember, we talked about this is a y squared, so we know it's going to open horizontally, right? This is a y squared problem, not an x squared problem. x squared would open up or down. This one opens left or right. So now you can see that my focus is to the left. Right? Or looking at it, it'd be to the right. So therefore, it's positive. So therefore, I ask my question, Michael, is my graph going to open up to the right, or is it going to open up to the left? It's going to open to the right. Right? Now, the last thing we need to do is determine out where the vertex, or the directrix. So my focus is over to. My directrix now has to be, If my focus is over 2 to the right, my directrix has to be 2 to the left, right? What? All right. Now, what's so important about this, guys, is I don't want you to get caught up, Lucas, on trying to remember those, oh, is it h plus p, k? Is it k minus p? Like, forget about it. Look at the graph. This point is at negative 5 comma 1. If I move my focus over 2 to the right, my focus point is now going to be, anyone? Negative 3, 1. And now if I move my directrix 2 to the left, I'm going to have a vertical line, which is x equals, and that's going to be? Right, x equals h minus p, which is negative 7. Right? Remember, p is positive. So let me write it like this. p is positive, negative 3 plus 2 comma 1. Right? So therefore, that is, oh, I'm sorry, negative 5. Yes, I wrote it. You read it. You read it, right? I was talking to directrix. I went back up to the. Oh, yeah, it is negative 7. This is at negative 5. No, no, no. But remember, it's a line. The directrix is a line. So you got to make sure you write it as a line. x equals negative 7. So it's a line you go through. Anybody have any questions on this? So your graph would look something like this, where there's your focus, there's your directrix, and you guys can figure that out. OK? That's it. That's it. All you had to do.